J and J PRD, the Pharmaceutical Research and Development Division of the J and J Group, has recently invested in a module tablet press. The machine has been installed in their development and clinical trial production plant in Biersa, Belgium, and features automatic washing capability. As J and J PRD have multiple potent compounds in their development pipeline, the Pharmaceutical Research and Development Group required a contained tablet press capable of handling products with OEL down to 0.5 micrograms per cubic meter. Containment had to be guaranteed not only during production, but also during product changeover and machine cleaning, while at the same time, changeover had to be fast and smooth. J&J &J PRD estimated the Courtois module tablet press with wash-off line, or WOL, ECM, would be the best solution as it combines safety and containment with productivity and flexibility, in a way no other machine concept can match. After installing the wall ECM, an isolated powder infeed system with buck systems high containment split valve is mounted on top of the machine. The quick release execution of the buck valve makes installation and removal above the tablet press easy and fast. An isolated and washable combined tablet de-duster metal detector is used in conjunction with the tablet press, as well as a purpose-designed contained tablet recipient. Manual sampling for in-process control is also done under isolated conditions, using LDPE lay-flat tubing strapped over the outlet chute of the sampling gate. The end of the lay-flat tubing is sealed off using the heat melting device. In order to make the entire installation contained, all individual components are interconnected using the same LDPE lay-flat tubing. The connection to dust extraction system does not require LDPE, as a contained split ball valve is used at this interface. Finally, the contained tablet recipient system, based on a large LDPE liner, is hooked up to the metal detector outlet. The long LDPE liner will allow bags of tablets to be sealed without any containment breach. Blending of the powder prior to tableting is done in a powder IBC on a single pedestal blender. The powder IBC is transferred to the compression room, lifted above the tablet press, where it is docked and opened. Tablet compression can now start. The tablets are collected in the large LDPE liner, while small tablet samples are being collected in the small liner. The samples are sealed and cut off with the thermal device. They're now ready for analysis in the IPC lab.
During the production run, individual bags of tablets are manually sealed off and removed by the operator. At the end of the production run, the tablet collection system is disconnected from the metal detector outlet without breaking the containment using the heat seal and cut principle. The same principle is used for a contained disconnection between the outlet of the ECM and the inlet of the tablet D-duster. The heat sealer is specifically designed to be lightweight and easy to handle around the tablet press. The various peripheral items can now be safely transferred to the washing area without any risk of powder being released into the environment, contaminating the operator and the building. The powder IBC can now be removed after closing and undocking the buck high containment valve. This operation is also performed in a fully isolated manner, eliminating any risk of airborne particles being released into the production room or corridors. The procedure to remove the wall ECM from the machine can now be started. The back of the machine is open to disconnect the dust extraction from the ECM. Containment is guaranteed using a split double ball valve. The inside of the machine, outside the ECM, is completely contamination free. All residual powder is clearly contained within the ECM, with no powder traces or contamination of the machine outside the isolated compression module. The ECM powder inlet is sealed off and disconnected, after which the complete powder infeed section, including the active half of the split valve, is removed from the machine and transferred to the washing area. After disconnecting the drives for the powder feeder and the punch lubrication tubes, the ECM is disconnected from the main drive and lifted inside the machine. The integrated swivel arm is brought into position and a security pin installed. The contaminated but fully isolated wall ECM is then swung out of the machine, positioned on the trolley and transferred to the washing area for offline cleaning. Once the ECM has been removed, the inside of the tablet press is perfectly clean and easily accessible for inspection or maintenance work. If a clean and prepared ECM together with peripheral equipment would be available, they could be installed in and around the module machine to resume production within less than two hours. In the meantime, the contaminated wall ECM is brought into the washing area, prepared for the automatic washing cycle and connected to the water preparation skid, having one or more detergent supplies. Pneumatic actuators are installed to drive the paddles of the powder feeder during the washing cycle. Three specially designed water jets are introduced into the ECM without breaking the containment. A water tank acting as containment barrier is installed at the tablet outlets and is filled with water. 
The lay flat tubes are cut open and vacuum suction raises the water level up the tablet chute. The water jets are then activated together with the drives for the dye table and the feeder paddles, thus assuring washing is both efficient and thorough. The same procedure is followed for the combined tablet D-duster metal detector and eventually also for any contained online tablet tester. The wash-off line or wall concept aims at washing away as much powder as possible and make sure that all remaining powder residues are wetted. This means that at the end of the automatic washing cycle, the operator can safely open and disassemble the unit for final manual cleaning and drying. After the washing cycle is finished, the water jets are removed from the ECM and installed back in their test rig for self-cleaning and draining.